Attention all passengers, please fasten your seatbelts as we will be doing the Call of Duty Ghost Overview today. This is going to be episode one. I'm going to be talking about the weapon family for assault rifles. For each weapon family, I will always start with my favorite, and in the interest of time, I'll only be discussing further details and loadout with my favorite as well. My personal favorite assault rifle is the AK-12. That gun just it screams my play style for most game types, and if it's used right, can kick some real ass. Something to always keep in mind when setting your assault classes is that if the iron sights are sufficient to your liking, keep them that way. The performance attachments can heavily outweigh a sight attachment if you don't mind the irons. In the AK-12's case, I like the iron sights, so I like to use a foregrip and a silencer. The foregrip is practically a must as it takes the recoil completely away. The silencer is something that you can opt in and out for whatever game type you're playing or if your playstyle doesn't mind slapping your orange dot on the map every time you shoot. However, with my playstyle, I like to take back alleys and enemy spawn flanks so I like to keep off the enemy radar as much as possible. Another thing to keep in mind about Ghost is that range takes a big effect on how the gun's damage works. This fully automatic rifle in particular has a maximum damage of 49 and a minimum of 25. Now this is not considering the multiplier for hitting the enemy in the upper body or the head. This is just the natural damage of the weapon. And I'm pretty sure that the maximum health for someone in Call of Duty Ghost is 100. Correct me if I'm wrong though, I am not too sure. I looked it up and I couldn't find it, but it seems like it is 100. The standard mag size for the AK-12 is 30, or 45 with extended mags. The rate of fire is 697 rounds per minute. Now, remember that it only takes a few bullets to kill someone, so 30 can be a very sufficient mag size, and I wouldn't waste an attachment on extended mags. To give myself more purse slots, I usually don't use a secondary with this loadout. I do, however, like to use an IED and a concussive grenade. The perks that I like to use are ready up, sleight of hand, dead silence, amplify, and focus. However, if you do not use a headset while playing, I would recommend swapping out dead silence and amplify as those are really just for being a sound whore. Overall, this gun is very universal for different game types, and I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 on the assault rifle scale. On to the next rifle, we have the SC-2010. This fully automatic rifle has very good accuracy, but the downfall is the low damage, sitting at a maximum of 35 and a minimum of 20. Like I said before, this damage will scale with range, but the range is about the same as the AK-12, and the fire rate is somewhat faster at 750 rounds per minute. But overall, the low damage on this gun makes it one of the weaker links, and I'd give it a 5 out of 10 on the assault rifle scale. Next up, we have the SA-805. This gun is very similar to the SC-2010, but it substitutes a little bit of accuracy for a little bit more damage and a small increase in fire rate, making it shoot at 769 rounds per minute, but only doing 40 damage tops and 25 as the minimum. Overall, this gun might fit your playstyle, but I also do feel that it is a weaker link, giving it a 6 out of 10. The next fully automatic rifle is back from Modern Warfare 3. This is the FAD. This is a very unique assault rifle, having a fire rate of 880. 82 rounds per minute and also maintaining a high accuracy. However, that means the damage is somewhat low, actually very low, at max of 34 and a minimum of 25. This gun is great for people that are better with SMGs and like that faster fire rate, small map kind of play, but I'm more of a higher damage kind of guy, so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Moving on to my second favorite is the Remington R5. This gun is very similar to the AK-12, but has slightly slower fire rate and is very slightly less accurate. However, it does have more range than the AK-12. The maximum damage on this guy is 49 and the lowest is 20. This gun is a perfect substitute for the AK-12 if you're playing a larger map and can be just as effective. I give it a 9 out of 10. And next up we have the MSBS, another unique rifle that can be customized for single, three round burst, and automatic fire. It has a very high maximum damage of 55 and a low of 20. In fully automatic mode, this gun is similar to the AK-12 but actually deals more damage. Overall, due to the customization available and the amount of punch it brings, I'm rating this one an 8 out of 10. Second to last comes the Honey Badger, another gun that I really like because it has a built-in silencer allowing you to use other beneficial attachments. The damage on this gun only caps out at 42 and bottoms at 20, but it has a very fast rate of fire sitting at 800 RPM. This is a very good gun for free-for-all or any game type on a small map really. It has its ups and downs, but overall I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Last, and maybe least, the ARX-160. This gun is like the MSBS, but with a faster rate of fire, less damage, less range, and it's less accurate. It has a built-in laser sight for increased hipfire accuracy, but if anything, it will probably just give away your position. A lot of people may somehow like this gun, but for me, 2 out of 10. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of my Call of Duty Ghost Overview. Make sure to hit that thumb that's pointing up, and more will be on the way. This has been your vocal pilot, and I'm out. Thank you.